Since the dawn of democracy, the development and empowerment of women through legislation, policies and programs remains one of the top priorities for government. The Gauteng government has adopted a bold vision to transform the province into an integrated, sustainable and economically inclusive, globally competitive city region. Through the implementation of its 10-pillar program for radical transformation, modernization and re-industrialization, the Gauteng government continues to implement policies that contribute to the empowerment and development of women. The impact of women entrepreneurs on the economy is significant to the development of society. Therefore, at the core of developing women-owned enterprises is our skills development and mentorship program, business support and access to government procurement to drive economic growth and social transformation. Through the procurement of goods and services, government has spent over 12.7 billion rands with women-owned companies. This is an indication of a city region on the move. Today, more girl learners are completing their primary, secondary and tertiary education pursuing studies in maths, science and technology. In pursuit of our plans to transform the socio-economic landscape of Gauteng, over 12,000 girl learners were awarded 600 million rands worth of bursaries to pursue their dreams in various fields of study. At the heart of restoring a young girl's dignity and ensuring she doesn't miss days of learning, 72,000 girl learners are provided with dignity packs. We have made great strides in making Gauteng women live healthier and longer lives. The 20-week antenatal visits, Access to ARVs for pregnant mothers and prevention of mother-to-child transmission has significantly decreased the rate of maternal and infant mortality. With four dedicated clinics to treat a variety of cancers using state-of-the-art equipment, the Charlotte Maglake Hospital's Radiation Oncology Unit is leading in the treatment of cancer. Preventative breast cancer screening is also made available at the Helen Joseph Hospital. The provision of post-exposure prophylaxis to prevent HIV-AIDS infection of rape victims is provided at 54 facilities in Gauteng, with most open for 24 hours. The safety and security of women remains a priority for government. Initiatives like the 23 Green Door Community Safe Houses for Abused Women and Children and the 137 Places of Safety, such as Ikayale Temba, creates a safe haven for women. Women from disadvantaged households are provided with free basic services, such as housing, electricity, water and sanitation. Today, Women are empowered to take charge of their own development and play a meaningful role in society. Women inspire actions and turn dreams into reality. Women United, moving Gauteng forward.